Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out this app for your smartphone called SpeedyBee. It works for Android and iOS. It's made by RunCam. Basically this is a Betaflight configurator that runs on your smartphone instead of your PC. Um, they actually made this app specifically, well not specifically, but I think they made it for their Bluetooth adapter where you buy a little like $10 Bluetooth module connected up to your flight controller and then you would wirelessly connect to the flight controller uh, via this app uh, via Bluetooth to make configuration changes and when I first saw that I totally dismissed it because I thought that was completely useless for me and why would I want to buy a Bluetooth module for every single one of my drones just so I can configure it via my phone when a lot of my drones already have Betaflight OSD and I can make a lot of those changes via Betaflight OSD anyway so I just didn't even I didn't even bother looking into it uh, one of my subscribers said hey you gotta check this out because it not only works with the Bluetooth module but you can actually connect it via a USB cable here. And then I thought this is much more useful because um, basically you can then take your smartphone out to the field without having to take a laptop out, which in fact I don't do anymore because a lot of my drones have Betaflight OSD, so I don't really have a need to you know, connect it in the field. However, there is a few um, settings that I can't get to from Betaflight OSD that might be useful uh, and I can make changes via this uh, setup in the field. And also, for any of those micro drones or drones that don't have a Betaflight OSD, uh, pretty much this is the only solution is, uh, out in the field, other than a laptop, is, is to use this to connect to Betaflight on your flight controller and make configuration changes. Now really, to get this all to work is pretty easy. The, the app itself is free. You do need to get this um, on-the-go USB cable. They're pretty inexpensive, usually about less than $5. In my case, I also needed a little adapter here because uh, most of the uh, on-the-go USB cables are micro USB, and my phone here is, uh, is has a USB-C port, so I just need a USB-C to micro USB adapter. And of course, this white cable here is just a regular USB cable that plugs into your computer. Nothing special about that; it's just that it's white and it's short, and I can just keep this basically just keep this cable in my transmitter bag. I always have my phone with me, so now I can make configuration changes out in the field really easily. So we'll go over the app real quick here. First of all, let me just show you. Uh, you can get it in the uh, Play Store here. I'll put a link to this and also the one for iOS in the description, but I just want to show you what the requirements are. Uh, this only works with Betaflight firmware version 3.1 or greater, and then your Android has to be 4.3 or greater, or iOS has to be 10.0 or greater. Now, I don't know if the on-the-go cable thing here works for iOS. I actually don't know. I'm, I don't know anything about Apple. I've never used Apple products. Um, I have a feeling that this doesn't work for Apple, so you're going to pretty much only going to be able to use this app uh, via Bluetooth. So I'm not 100% sure on that. But if someone can let me know in the comments if you have an iOS product and are using this type of on-the-go cable with that, that'd be kind of cool if a lot of people know that, that they could actually do that. But I'm not 100% sure that's possible. I know for sure that if you have an Android like I do, that this definitely works. Okay, so we'll go back to the app here, and so once you uh, plug it in, and obviously the phone is going to be powering the flight controller, so keep that in mind. And uh, you all have to do is it starts scanning, and it'll just, it's basically looking for any kind of devices that are out there. Bluetooth devices, for example, and in this case, your this STM32 serial, serial driver is the one you want. This is the one that we're going to be connecting to. Obviously, it's got the USB symbol there. And you can see here that pretty much all of the icons and everything are are the same, will look very similar to what it looks like in the actual Betaflight configurator that runs on your computer. And uh, you know, it's got all those. And then here's the setup tab. I think this one here is for ports. And you can see pretty much everything. I haven't found anything that's missing. Anything that is actually in the actual Betaflight configurator does show up here. And here is the config. You can change all the settings. Anything that you want to change on the computer you can change here. And here's the settings for power and battery. You can see everything looks exactly the same. And here under PID tuning this also has everything. All you have to do is just click in a box and then you can just change the numbers here to whatever you want. Now one of the settings that I often want to change in the field is this anti-gravity gain change. And I, um, this setting I can't change, or at least I can't find it in the Betaflight OSD. So oftentimes I have to make a change 
uh, at home when I'm like on my computer, but now I can just do this in the field, which is really nice. And here's the receiver tab. Here you can change all your modes. So everything is exactly the same. It's just obviously the interface looks a little bit different, but all the all of the uh, features and selections are going to be the same. And then here you can even change what the OST looks like. You can just drag and drop stuff on the screen, which is really nice. You can turn on and off whatever you want. So let's say I want to turn on another timer. So I guess to move stuff around, you just click and drag it around. And that's it. That's, I guess that's how that works. Pretty easy. Then you turn it off. Yeah, even the black box tab is here, and even the uh, CLI tab is here, so you can put in your CLI commands as well. So it looks very complete to me. It just it seems like everything that should be there is there. Anyway, that's going to do it for this quick look at the SpeedyB app. I'll put links to everything in the description below. And yet, yeah, I highly recommend getting this cable if you have a phone. Uh, I don't. I obviously, I don't know the compatibility for every single phone out there. There's just way too many models. So you should definitely research if your phone has the, it's called the on-the-go capability, or OTG. Uh, most um, modern phones within the last year definitely have that feature. Um, this, this, my phone here is a Samsung uh, Galaxy Note 8. Uh, most of the mid to high range uh, phones, high-end phones, are going to have that feature. So it should work for you, but you should definitely check your documentation on your phone to make sure that this will work for you. Uh, if you don't have, if your phone doesn't support the on-the-go feature, this app is not going to work for you using the uh, USB cable. So, and that's the main reason why I wanted to show you this video is, is that you can just basically have this little nice little setup here and a phone and make any changes you want in the field without a computer, which is great. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.